This is assignment 3A template. So I'll put the header. Now the whole row will be bolded, so we can just go ahead and bold this with our number description number right. Adjust these just so we can fit everything in the respective columns, and then all of these are centered. Now, these are numbered to 97, so just tap 3, and then you can click the little square in the bottom right hand corner. And then we'll, you can see the small window that shows 97. Now, hold the bottom, drag it up to here, and then we'll say all borders. This top row is gray, so highlight that a different color. Now, we can start off with the information, so we have both pierce borders. So on sheet. One O one G S two O one A and S three O one. Again you're probably gonna have to adjust the width just to make everything fit. And then we have P three thirty six inch And then there's going to be three sections to this. We have the drilled pier spoils, the drilled pier concrete, and then the drilled pier rebar. And they're basically all set up pretty similarly to where you have the, the heading. And then here you have number, length, and then cubic foot per linear foot. These can center as well. And then I like them. 1.0. And these will probably just show up as one and we'll fix that later. So we have 1.667, 2.500, Okay, now for our take of quantity, we multiply. G7 or G8 by uh, G8 equals D, D8 times E8. And we pull that through, and then the same thing underneath. So we highlight this, take the square, pull it down, and it'll come out with this. Now we want to have three bullet points showing, so we just highlight the cells and we can use these functions up here to make sure we only have. Three. And then don't forget your units because you're in cubic foot. And if you follow the template exactly, you'll see on that. On 22, it says total cubic feet. And then your conversion to cubic yards, which is just the cubic feet divided by 27. And add the swell at 1.4. Then your total spoil. These will be right aligned and then highlight. Now your total cubic feet is just sum, and then you open your parentheses and you go from the first to the last. 
cell that you have, and then close your parentheses and press enter. These are in cubic feet. And we have the conversion to cubic yards. So we have the previous total, then divide that by 27 to give us our answer in cubic yards. And then if we add our swell at 1.4, we say this cell equals our previous cubic yards times 1.4 of our previous answer. And then also in cubic yards, and our total spoil is equal to our spoil with the spoil. Don't forget your units, and then adjust to the right amount of decimal places that you need. Now moving on to drill pure concrete. Same thing. We have our basically our title. And then this will be the same as above. We have one fifty one point six six seven seven point zero six six six. Again here, number length cubic foot per linear foot. Center these and then highlight them. And then here for our total takeoff quantity, this cell equals this times this into feet change this and then we're bringing this formula down to 43 same thing up here these formulas you'll basically just repeat this until here because once you put your information in it'll carry over then we have our Total, sorry about that. We have our total to feet convert to cubic yards at waist at 15%, and then our total cubic yards of concrete. Again, these we will move over. This is bolded, and then our total to your feet equals sum of these cells above. Enter, and then this is in cubic feet. Convert to cubic yards, we just took the previous. Divide by 27. We have cubic yards. Then add waste. This equals this. And then since we have 15% of waste, we do 1.15, which is basically 115% of the original value. Also, I mean cubic yards, and then our total cubic yards of concrete is this. That we need. We need to adjust these just so we have the right amount of decimal places. Then we have go here, e bar, S1, L1, S2, L1A. And S301, same thing for this pure, and then we need 10, number 9s, we have 10, number 6, 4 feet, 6 inch, and then we have one and three at sixteen inches on center forty four bar diameter flat plus one at top. Here we have number length. Then here we have the number of bars, and then the weight. 
curve in your foot. And if something doesn't fit, you can always adjust your columns after. These are centered and highlighted. And then these are all one. Yeah, 51.667. 51.250, 4, 4.5, 4, 5, 4, 5, and then 9.229. Then here we have three decimal places. Now the number of bars, and then the weight per linear foot. And then to calculate our total weight, we need to take our length times the number of bars times the weight per linear foot. And then same thing for these next ones, we can just take this, drag it down, and it'll find our answers in pounds. can adjust these as well to three decimal places. And then this will continue down. You can just carry through this formula until row 80. And then we have in row 81 total pound. And we have convert to tons at 200, oh, sorry, 2,000 pounds per ton, and then our total tons. These three align right, and then bold your total. Then our total pounds is again sum. And this is our weight in pounds, which we need to convert to tons. So this equals the top divided by 2,000. So we have 2,000 pounds per ton. Then our unit is ton. And then our total is the same as this. Remember to adjust your decimal places. Now we're going to have a recap. We have pure spoil, we have pure concrete, and pure. These are on the right, they're bolded. And then here we're just listing up what we had before for our answers. So starting off our peer reinforcing, we just have our total tons and pure concrete. We have the total cubic yards of concrete and then our pure spoils of our total spoil pain. And then hold your answers here. And then and that's it for the assignment three template.